Indian President Draupadi Murmu commended the Bharatiya Janata Party-led National Democratic Alliance government for securing a third consecutive term during her address to Parliament. She hailed the electorate's confidence in the government's leadership, noting the opportunity for newly elected members of the 18th Lok Sabha to serve the nation. President Murmu expressed optimism about the forthcoming budget, describing it as a pivotal document reflecting the government's comprehensive policies and futuristic vision. Highlighting India's economic progress, President Murmu underscored the nation's ascent from the 11th to the 5th largest economy globally within a decade. Despite challenges posed by the pandemic and global conflicts, she attributed this achievement to the government's reform initiatives and decisions made in the national interest over the past decade. Looking ahead, she emphasized the government's goal of uh, positioning India as a world's third largest economy. Addressing agricultural policies, President Murmu mentioned the disbursement of rupees 3.20 lakh crores under the PM Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme and a substantial increase in minimum support prices for Kharif crops. She also highlighted the government's efforts to enhance budget allocations for the Northeast by over four times in the last decade, aiming to establish the region as a strategic gateway under the Act East policy despite ongoing challenges including uh, ethnic violence in Manipur. Regarding governance and accountability, President Mumu assured stringent action against those involved in recent paper leaks, affirming the government's commitment to improving examination processes. She concluded by congratulating the people of Jammu and Kashmir for their high voter turnout in the recent elections and praised the Election Commission for conducting the world's largest democratic exercise efficiently. In response to her address, a motion of thanks is debated in both Houses of Parliament, continuing the parliamentary proceedings of the 18th Lok Sabha.